Now let's say we want to make a slightly more complex while loop example, okay? And again, this time we're going to plot the equation y equals x squared. And so, again, using a while loop is, is quite an inefficient way of producing the graph, but it demonstrates how it works and the way it differs from the for loop, because we did this for the for loop in a few videos ago. So instead of writing it from scratch, I'm going to open this example. Okay, and then we'll just walk through this. So obviously there's the title of the com of the command, what complex while example, script to plot a quadratic equation, written by me some time ago, and then we've got our variable dictionary here. We've got our, um, uh, our independent variable x, our dependent variable, which is y, and then we've got k, which is our loop counter. Okay, so so far it's very similar to the for example. So we clear the workspace, we clear the command window, and we close all previous figure windows, because this script, as we did before, plots a, plots a figure. Okay, So we've got our um, range for x, minus 10 to 10. Okay, and like before, we predefine our counter to be 1. Okay, And what we're saying in, down here, while k is less than or equal to the length of x, Okay, so while k goes, so obviously, because x will be defined here, to be uh, 2001 uh, values, okay, and if you look at uh, you know, that, that uh, command there defines x to be um, uh, a, a variable that's got 2001 elements in it. As k counts up, okay, it will start at 1, okay, which is going to be less than the length of x. So the first value of, of y is going to be the first value of x squared, okay, then it increments k up. And again, so k will be 2. Okay, or well, 2 is still less than or equal to it. So the second value of y will be the second value of x squared, and so on and so forth. You can see we've got this index k in here. So it's going to grow k as we run round, which is one of the, um, which isn't a, a fantastic um, method. That's why we've got an orange command down here, where it appears to change in size on every loop iteration. Um, but uh, but no, yeah, that's, a, that's, that's just a warning. It's not a, it's not an um, error. Okay, so we continue to um, so we continue growing x, uh, y to be x squared, and then when it when k when the k is two thousand, it'll hit two thousand and one, and so it'll say, okay, well I'll run it one last time because k is equal to then to length y, x. Run it one last time, and so the two thousand one value of y will be the two thousand one value of x squared, and then hit this will make k equal two thousand and two, at which point this. Um, will therefore not be met and it will drop out or plot the graph and label the axes. Okay, so if we run this script, okay, should run relatively quickly and we should get a graph of x squared. There we are. Okay, and you can see that k, the last value of k is 2002. Okay, so as it was running through, it was creating the, um, the, the graph. Okay, at the end. So like before, we've got a um, uh, sort of set preamble up here from lines 1 to 13, okay, where we've got the name, the author, um, our, our variable dictionary, and the clearing commands, okay. Now line 16, sorry, line 15, um, we define our independent variable ranging from minus 10 to 10 with steps of 0 0.01. And line 16, we have to initialize our counter k, okay, as we refer to it in the while loop statement. Now line 18, this is where we start the line at the while loop, okay, stating that we want to run only while while the value of k is less than or equal to the length of x. Okay, remember the length command returns the number of elements in the vector. Okay. So if we typed in the command window, length of x, you should get a value. Length of x, okay, we should get 2001, you see. So while k is less than 2001. This is the command we want to iterate, okay. Setting our value of y to be x squared. Okay, so we want the uh, element n by manner. So the first iteration when k equals 1 is the first element y will be the first element of x squared, and so on. Okay. And then we want k to increase, to increment up by 1 every iteration. Okay, so we need a command in the, in the loop that will do exactly that. Okay. And this indicates the end of the loop by n on 21. And then down here we've got our plotting command, which plots x versus y, and then we label the axes x and y. So if we run the command again, okay, there we go. We get our plot solution. 